Bobscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review of this time. We've got a bottle of beer from the Thornbridge Brewery in Bakewell. It's a bottle of their Cocoa Wonderland, a chocolate porter um, at 6.8% ABV. It says on the bottle um, he uses mainly malts to achieve the flavours, but it says uh, uh, complementing the decadent additions of real chocolate to the maturation process, which is so they've added some chocolate at some point. But when it says when it's got all the details about the ingredients, all it says is malted barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. But it said there's chocolate. Shouldn't chocolate be in that list of ingredients? Anyway, I don't know if it's cacao nibs, if it's kind of cocoa powder or what. I have had this on draft. Uh, um, uh, the the pub in Sheffield, is it the Bank Hotel, Bath Hotel. That's it. And um, enjoyed that much. I went back for a second because it, it, it was very nice. So I picked this up at um, Beer Central in Sheffield. Fantastic little shop. Really good people. Really keen. Really good on social media. Anyway, beer in the glass. Uh, I'd say very dark brown. There is a hint of red at the edges. A nice fizzy head of kind of beige froth. So let's check out the aroma. Yeah. Big time. It smells like cake mix. Chocolate cake mix. Vanilla. Sweet chocolate. Quite demerara sugar. And that's about it. I mean, but yeah. Chocolate cake mix. Absolutely. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's not the fullest beer. And um, to be honest, the draft was better. The, the keg version was better. This has got a little kind of bit too much tang to it. In comparison, it does feel a lot thinner than it did on draft. Draft, I got it. We're a bit more creamy, a bit more kind of velvety. This is quite, quite um, immediate. As far as flavours go, bitter chocolate, cola. There's a tang of hops in there, a tang of dark malts. It's more of a, a darker chocolate flavour. A bit of sweetness comes through, and once again, it's that kind of cake mix more than uh, actual chocolate. Yeah, it's nice. It's not, um, not massively dissimilar. She's made to the peanut butter. It's got similar characteristics to that. That's quite tangy with the sweetness. And that comes through in the aroma. An absolute spade. But in the mouth, it kind of falls short a little bit. Yeah, for me, the draft was much sweeter. Much kind of creamy chocolate. This is a bit more. It's the dark, the, the kind of the flavours of roasted malt, really. It's roasted barley and dark malt. Which is a little bit more tang to it. And it lacks something. I think it's probably bad to do with the... But I, I presume we go through a very similar process anyway. Kegging and bottling. I might be just the method of dispense. This might work quite nicely on nitro. See, it lacks that creaminess. Really drinkable. A bit fizzy and thin in the bottle compared to the keg. Keg version, very good. Bottle version, alright. Yeah, actually, decent, decent. I'm not going to go any further than that, though. I mean, it's just not a, not a patch on the keg version. So, Cocoa Wonderland from Farmbridge, 6.8% ABV. Chocolate Porter. It doesn't say chocolate in the ingredients, which is weird, but it's definitely got chocolate in it. Not the best chocolate beer I've ever had. I've had some really good ones, and this is much better Okay, I've said it too many times now. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsine.com. This could be better. It is better. Search it out on keg, you'll enjoy it more. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.